So today I'm going to show you how I prepare the breeding uh, setting for Lucanus cervus occupationus. It's the East Europe Asian uh, subspecies of, of our European stag beetle Lucanus cervus. And the beetle is m most often seen in the eastern part of Turkey close to the Syrian border, close to the Mediterranean Sea. Um, there is a little town called Akbes. Akbesianus probably comes from there because near Akbes there is a very big uh, forest with oak trees. So probably they come from there and that's where their name is derived from. Now I have to look where the animal is first oh, here and how active it is already. So that's, I have to check how active it is. So if it's moving around and, yeah, if it's moving around like this nice female here, everything seems ready. The legs in the, in the back part, they are also ready. So it seems to be ready to meet a man. This lady is about five centimeters. I put her onto a little fresh watermelon probably. This also is a nice place to mate. Afterwards I put it into the breeding box. I show you how I prepare it. First we have a look for a male. Now they have been in these boxes now as adults for about more than two months from 9th of February I prepared uh, these small boxes when I first uh, have seen that they came out as adults and now um, after these two months I think because this year it might be a bit earlier to start the breeding process I'm gonna prepare it now and then let's have a look where the male is. Oh, I see it here, down here. Yeah, here. Well, let's see how active it is already. I put it out also. Now on this other... Well, this is also a nice male here. Now before I... It looks great. Also the back legs, not so bad. This animal is how long it is. It is not 7 but 6.8 or something like that centimeters. That's not bad. But you see the female is really big. So it's, it looks a little bit more massive than the male. So now have a look how I prepare the boxes now. Um, um, first I have some um, bark from oak. This is uh, important because it smells like there is an oak tree around and whenever uh, a beetle wants to oviposit in oak wood of course it will search for oak wood because of the smell of this wood and the smell of oak is very typical. So I have put on the top some of the bark. I also put some leaves of oak in here so that it smells after like, like a tea and of course I prepare it with some beetle jellies here so that the females and the male they can meet when they are eating on this uh, beetle jellies and of course the bark has the, uh, uh, the advantage that the beetles can grab onto it if they turn over so now I put the female in here and the uh, male close to it. I'm not sure whether they just mate now in the next two days, but probably they're gonna dig down now, wait for sometimes in uh, covered in the in the back uh, underneath these trees or hidden under the leaves. And whenever they are ready for mating, they come out, mate, and then the female will dive down into the substrate. So that's the setting. I'm closing it mostly with this kind. 
of a thing. So, and of course now they also need uh, a light change every 12 hours so that they think that they are in nature and can mate and can um, uh, produce the next generation of this very interesting and big uh, subspecies of the European stag beetles. Thanks for watching.